Okay, so I've driven for about four hours today from Mexico City to the top of this hill where now I'm on a horse and we are about to see something I've wanted to see since I was about five years old. So at the end of every summer, millions, tens of millions of monarch butterflies take a journey south. Now, whether they're coming from Colorado, Connecticut, or even Canada, they all end up in this same forest here in the middle of Mexico. And I think it's gonna absolutely blow my mind. It's gonna blow the horse's mind, and I hope it blows your mind too. So let's keep riding. After riding a little longer and then hiking with my local guide, Jose Luis, they started to appear. Hundreds of them in the sky and then thousands on the side of the trail warming up in the sun. And trust me when I tell you, this is just the beginning. Not sure if, if you listen carefully, you can hear it, but that's no wind. That is the sound of millions of butterflies flying around me right now. And it's probably my favorite sound ever. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so insane. Meet one of nature's greatest treasures, the overwintering site of the monarch butterfly migration. To understand the migration, you have to realize that many of these butterflies are the great-great-grandparents to next year's migrants. Their journey took an average of 1,800 miles to get down here and spend the winter. This spring, it will take three generations of butterflies into the summer to travel back up throughout North America. Each of these butterflies has its own unique story of how it ended up here. So we can't go any further on this trail and there's about a million reasons why if you look up ahead and and I gotta get this because on the hand of my lovely camera woman, what just happened? Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> look, it's... it wants to be famous. Wants to give me a kiss. I gave a butterfly a butterfly kiss. Okay, so they actually closed the trail up ahead because if you look, the entire trail is covered in butterflies getting sun for the day, and it is, it's amazing. Everywhere I look, it just gets better here. These butterflies are the survivors. It is getting harder and harder for them to complete this journey, and their population is dropping because of it. Their native prairies in the U.S. have started to disappear. But if you want to help these butterflies in their migration, you can. The best thing to do is simple. Plant native flowers for them to fuel up on and native milkweeds for them to lay eggs on and they will come. So none of this would be possible without the help of the locals. And I'm not just talking about me being here right now, I'm talking about this entire forest being protected. Monarch butterflies have basically become a source of income and a important pride that this town has. And Jose Luis has been an amazing guide. Jose Luis, ¿por cuántos años has sido guía? Um, por 16 años. ¿Y qué quieres decir al mundo de esas mariposas que solo vienen aquí? Pues cuidarlas más que nada y cuidar mucho esto que tenemos aquí del santuario del Elegido el Rosario. Ok, gracias.